So a FATNIB is a second generation EGFR TKI. So it binds to the activating mutations in EGFR, and it does so irreversibly rather than reversibly. It binds to T790M, which a gefitinib and erlotinib don't, so it could prolong the time to resistance. But it also binds to uh, the wild type, so it also has diarrhea and uh, skin toxicity. And finally, it binds to other HER2 family members, such as HER2, HER3, or HER4. And so activation of HER2 is another way to get resistant. So a FATNIB is what we call a second generation EGFR TKI. It's been approved by the FDA for use in patients with activating EGFR mutations. Uh, and there's a companion EGFR mutation test that goes with it. Uh, the unanswered question is, um, is it better than erlotinib and gefitinib? And there are trials addressing that, but at the moment, you know, it certainly seems as good, but whether it's actually better, we don't, we don't know for sure.